Wagar, this is a rolling protest that started about 1.30 this afternoon in Eastern Standard Time. Uh, about three dozen protesters at first lined up in front of the Egyptian uh, consulate uh, on the Upper East Side of Manhattan, uh, chanting the various slogans telling that the Egyptian government should stop uh, using tear gas. Uh, against the people that again then that protest moved to where I am standing now uh, here in Midtown to where the primary uh, stockholder for that company combined systems international the company that produces the caustic substance um, is here in Midtown and there was a confrontation as protesters uh, laid down in front of the entrance doors uh, of, of the company's uh, headquarters here in Manhattan I'm standing here now with Omar Zaki um, who was one of the organizers of the protest why do you think that people should care uh, about this issue you should care about this issue because if you're an American citizen and you pay taxes 1.3 billion dollars of those taxes are going to the Egyptian military and the Egyptian military is using that money to put down peaceful protesters all around Egypt and especially in Tahrir okay. we've seen the use of uh, a tear gas that some of the Occupy movements uh, there um, people would argue that it's a non-lethal substance but you say what about the tear gas this particular kind this particular tear gas is used, and it's used in insane amounts that is causing actually death by suffocation in Egypt. It's not one case, it's not two cases. There, there have been deaths in Tahrir, and you know, um, people are getting disabled uh, by, in addition to the tear gas, there are rubber bullets and live bullets. So this is just one aspect. There are also other aspects of what the military in Egypt is using against peaceful protesters. What's the name of the company, the holding company for CSI? The holding company in, in New York, it's called uh, Point Lookout Capital, and it's at 56 and 6th Ave. Thank you. Uh, Omar Zaki, you're headed off to the Egyptian mission to finish the protest. Thank you very much. Uh, those protesters now are in front of the Egyptian mission as we speak. Uh, as we said, about three dozen people uh, trying to draw attention to this issue. Many of them have signs. Uh, they are Egyptian nationals or, or the children of Egyptian nationals uh, who are showing pictures of the obvious damage that is done uh, when Egyptian military forces use that tear gas um, over the uh, course of the Tahrir Square uprising and uh, similar substances being used here in the United States to clear out Occupy Wall Street movements. Uh, many of those folks argue that of the $2 billion that is received by Egypt overall, um, that the American taxpayer should be concerned uh, that while the, the United States government preaches uh, free speech in foreign countries, they're still uh, sending uh, free speech suppressing devices to those same countries um, um, in, in the back, you know, through, a back, through a back channel.